For decades, Tekken has been dominated by only two countries, Japan and South Korea. So when a young Pakistani man left his homeland to take on the best players in the world, no one saw it coming. Locked behind travel restrictions and geopolitics, Pakistan had secretly been in love with the game of Tekken. And unbeknownst to the rest of the world, they were godlike players. This is the story of a man who left his homeland, rose from obscurity, became a champion, and paved the way for his countrymen to conquer the world. This is the story of Arslan Ash. Arslan first appeared on the scene at the end of 2018. In his first four appearances ahead of the 2019 Tekken World Tour, he dominated the competition with one top eight and three wins, including a win at Evo Japan, where he had to take five planes in two days just to attend. Arslan's first appearance on the 2019 Tekken World Tour was at the Tiger Uppercut SEA Major Challenger Tier event. Arslan steamrolled through his Korean competitors in the winner's bracket. But in the grand final, his first true challenge appeared when he matched up against me, the greatest to ever play the game. Just keep playing your game, Arslan Ash. You're on the verge of doing something crazy. Starting to go for the mix up now, Nee. No time left. But at this point, the mental pressure's on Nee. You gotta do something. Changing jabs in mid range. Oh my god. Oh, oh my three. god! That's, that should be it. Arslan Ash. That it? Well, not a Masters Tier oh. event, this marked the first time that Arslan Ash defeated Nee on the Tekken World Tour and was the beginning of one of Tekken's most celebrated rivalries. Arslan then traveled to Las Vegas, Nevada for the FGC's largest event, EVO. Here, Arslan was the breakout star, crushing his competition and defeating the American competitor Anakin, one of the most decorated oh Tekken God, players 3-zip in the winner's finals. It was here on the FGC's biggest stage that Arslan Ash, the man from Pakistan, would etch his name into the eSports history books but it wouldn't come easily for him. His opponent in the grand final would be none other than Nee. Arslan had already defeated Nee several times before, so he went in with the confidence of a champion. The two rivals gave it their all, trading rounds and games as neither player was able to gain much of an edge over the other. But in the final game, Arslan charged forward once again. Again with the low, he's about to put him into rage. Oh, there it is. He's in rage. This is where it This is it. What's going to happen right now? Knee looking for this opportunity. I'm oh. holding my breath. Oh! oh! They trade blows. Oh! Oh, man. That was a crazy trade. Arslan cementing his position as the best Tekken player on the planet. Arslan Ash became the first player in history to win both EVO Japan and EVO Prime in the same year. And now the young Pakistani was at the top of the world having achieved so many of his competitive goals in such a short time. But the world tour was only just starting to heat up. In November, Arslan traveled to Dubai for the Rocks and Roll Tournament. Once again, he would face his rival, Nee. And once again, Arslan would get the better of him. Just three days later, he announced that he had been signed to represent Red Bull Gaming as a sponsored athlete. A month later, he was in Bangkok, Thailand for the Tekken World Tour Finals, the culmination of a year's work and his chance to solidify his name at the top of the Tekken world. He quickly drafted himself into Group A, ensuring that he wouldn't face any of his compatriots before the knockout stage of the tournament. But seeking revenge for so many losses, the Koreans came into this tournament with a plan to target the Pakistani players. Now his biggest rival, Ni nee specifically drafted himself into Group A in the hopes of finally getting a win. You have the choice because you're number one on the leaderboard. Which group do you want to be in? You can now see all the players. A. A! Oh my A. God! 
As if by divine fate itself, the game's biggest rivals met in the deciding match to see who would be the final person to advance out of Group A. Oh, the wind bar just a little bit too slow. Well, how did that miss? Second and miss. Straight in a rage arc. Knee gonna cancel. Yeah, cancel. Gonna go for the combo here. Well, not, not gonna matter. Yeah. Knee gonna take the set. Knocked out of the tournament with a disappointing finish. Far below what this true prodigy of the game had displayed thus far. Arslan Ash capped off his rookie year as a professional when he was named the ESPN Esports Player of the Year for 2019. Arslan achieved a lot in 2019. He risked it all to chase his dreams. He made history and single-handedly put Pakistan on the esports map, paving the way for his fellow countrymen to seek glory of their own. And he became one half of the greatest rivalry of the game of Tekken has ever seen. Only one thing still eludes Arslan, preventing him from being the undisputed best player on the planet. And that is a Tekken World Tour Champion title. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Arena Esports.